Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of a game where we collect blocks, then place those blocks, and that's pretty much it. Back here in the big old greenhouse, big world. Look at that. Holy crap. We got item frames that can be placed on the ground. You see that? You think I could have just done this before, right? Just like, you think I might have dropped one eventually and then figured out, wait a minute, they could be placed down, but no. You could, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, you can place them anywhere you want. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, look at that. Emergency sword. You know what, I kind of like that. Boom, now I got a sword. Ooh, what about that? Ah, that's pointless. But yeah, I don't know what we're doing today. Who knows? We're gonna just mess around the world as always. Uh, it's usually the thing I end up doing anyway. Um, but I have been working on something over here. When I go back and look at last episode, I just smack myself every time. Like, I just went so two-dimensional with this build, and it just blows my mind how I didn't think to do it three-dimensional, which means, you know, dig a bit. So I have it caged off a bit because this is a high radiation zone. I'm not supposed to be over here. I'm actually supposed to have my hazmat suit on, but I forgot it at home. Actually, I actually haven't bought one yet. It's bought it on Amazon. It's on its way. And, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I upgraded it immensely. Why did skeletons guard? Did Olaf hire guards again? <laughs> I went in this cave a few times. But uh, I think this looks a whole lot better. Let me sleep real quick. So, yeah, what I did was just completely redo it. I destroyed everything and then just kind of dug a big crater. And this is kind of the idea I wanted to go for in the first place. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe I thought it would be too hard. But as you can see, the nether reactor is still at its same height like where i would have built it and then it has this like kind of cone effect i don't know but i think it looks kind of cool because like maybe when it happened a big explosion happened i got thrown way back but survived somehow and uh yeah over here this is where these trees were um all these pillars are exactly where all the wood was so i just took down the trees and replaced it with that kind of makes it look cool i made this one fall over uh, it actually looks like charred wood and then I got another fence over here um, and There's still some more I want to do around here, but this isn't what we're gonna be messing around with today Just thought I'd show you what I changed Hi oinkers So I've been having a weird urge to work on my I mean my yeah my mr. Dr. Professor Dallas's study and Okay, so I have a question for you guys should I continue using that resource pack that changes these paintings because as you can see they're just random paintings right now but if I changed it it turns them into my documents that are very important to my world um, such as my 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 lease for my home and my important study of why this world is made out of blocks and uh, me no <laughs> that's the guy that's wanted in my world remember don't you remember the guy that dropped an anvil in my head in my mind you don't remember that episode? Go look for it. No. Um, and then my beautiful world map here from the 18... I think it was 1837 that was made. Uh, great, great, great grandpa. Um, and then my quilted blankets. Yeah, I'll keep this on. I, I really like this pack. Just mainly because of these. Um, but I, I really want to work on my office here because I never got it finished. Finished to the point where everything in here is what was where I need it and just organized. Because I wanted something to do with right here, which is like a shelf. Actually, those are shelves. Let me figure out something. Okay, so first off, this is my desk, and I should not have building materials in here. These are mainly this house building material, too. And why not put them in useful places, such as, you know, I have a bunch of closets I'm building in this house, such as right here, for instance. Actually, right over here. Yeah. We can use that as the building closet. <laughs> oh my god, Oinkers, we gotta get you a home. Ugh. I, I can't, he always makes the footstep sounds, and then I think it's a creeper sneaking up on me. You have no idea how bad my anxiety is in this mansion it's just like every little nook and cranny i'm like looking around <laughs> maybe there's a creeper crawling across the ceiling that's not possible imagine that you know what they should think about that add different types of creepers to the game never mind that'd be terrible yes i still have not found luke that was his name no duke <laughs> not luke duke i remember him he's special to me i have no idea where he went Literally, the last place I thought I left him was down here in this cellar. Okay, will I still be able to access... Oh, yeah, yeah. Still got the sides there to access that, so... Wait, no. But if I put a map in it... No. 
Well, I could do that. No. Well, it, yeah, it's kind of like a drawer. You. Huh. Kind of wanted a map on my table to make it look like I was like studying the map. That, 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 yeah. <laughs> that does look kind of cool. Actually, you just take the trapdoors off the back because the front of the desk always looks the nice. And the back kind of has like filing drawers. And plus it continues with the pattern with those lines there. I just put a sign right there. I want this desk to just have the most practicality out of it as possible. So I got like a map on there. I got drawers. I got my journal holder. I got a conduit for no reason. You know what? I actually kind of like this. I'm thinking of stuff I can start putting in the kitchen. Perhaps like, no, some, nope. No. Oh wait, no, actually, yes. But no, no, yes. Stay there. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Uh, maybe a chest there, cauldron there, some standing up straight barrels here and there. Maybe a composter. No. There we go. Um, maybe a watermelon. Uh, maybe more barrel. <laughs> See, I kind of, I kind of like this. It's like a, I like the cobblestone back. There, you can do that in case you need to reach higher. Now, there's something I want to try. Someone told me about this. Yeah. Wait. I wonder which one looks better. That actually looks interesting. Um, but the question is, do you have to have water below it? Or does it have to be submerged in water? Alright, so there it is, that beautiful block. Um, yeah. So... Oh, cool. All right, so you can do that. And then these look good because they look like they can hold some sort of fruit. I don't know what that fruit, maybe berries? Oh yeah, look, some blueberries. I like that. The heck, they had <laughs> like animations. It like smoothly moves now. Okay, since I was smart and actually made this house with different wallpapers on each side, I can do that little trick with the cobblestone here. Or do I don't even need the cobbles? I don't know why. I it just looks. It was a good. Hey, I got some here. <laughs> I guess we can find out if it looks good in here. This one's gonna have to be a bit smaller. You know what? That doesn't actually look too bad. Or actually, yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> it looks a little off. Maybe it's the color. I want some sort of shelf design here. That looks a little better. Replace it with dark oak and then just put the back walls its normal color. I kind of like that. I want to get this all the way to the top. It looks best when it's full. Yeah, I heard you can put grass blocks in these now, even though grass blocks are kind of useful. Um, and then I forgot about this, the little tripwire hooks. I, I'm going to need to do that to all these barrels down here because this is a wine cellar. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, convenient that there's a bed down here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Makes it look like an actual wine barrel storage now. And I also, <laughs> not done yet, I gotta fill these all with bottles too. Mostly, I'll just put water bottles, of course. But yeah, this is going to be the main kitchen of the house. So I think these two blocks right here, along, that'll leave, yeah, that'll leave enough space. Yeah, there's gonna be like a long table in the center that's for like preparing the food. And now that we can put these down on the table like this, I like, I think I can put like, well, you can. I, I say I think because I think it'll look good. You can put apples and different vegetables and stuff on it and actually look like it's on a cutting board on this table. You know what? I might as well just do that now. And then I'm going to save this window for uh, a furnace. I'm going to get rid of this window and then we're going to create like a chimney out here. Yeah, let's go ahead and create this center table here. I'm going to be honest. I am really looking forward to these new bees. It's hard holding back and not learning about them because I want to learn them, learn about them all firsthand, but I got I got to hold back. Look, I forgot about this painting as well. I'm going to put that on my shelf in there too. I know you guys don't have that, obviously. I'm sorry, but it just looks so cool. Um, so, this middle table, I want it to be pretty long. I want, it's going to be two. I don't have that ladder anymore on that, so it's going to be like, I'm just using these for reference for now. <laughs> ah, I don't know how long I want it to be. I want it to be full of all kinds of stuff, like we're prepping a big dinner for the house. Um, so I'm not, I'm just going to use all crafting tables. Um, do I want to surround it with these? I, th 
Nah, I don't know. I can't. So I wanted to try something here. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that. This would be a hassle to do, but I saw the texture of this upside down. I know it's kind of a waste and you could actually use it for storage, but oh wow, look at that. That's a decent texture. You know what? That'll be good for the countertop, actually. Oh yeah, this looks good. Look at that. Now, what looks better as a cutting board? Uh. Hello. See, this is what I'm talking about. This guy. I would have noticed him. I'm going to be working. And he's gone. <laughs> See, that's so creepy. Oh, man. Kind of just realized I forgot about my office here. And focused entirely on this. But I'm, I'm okay with that. I've been really wanting. You know what? In this room as well, this can be like the pantry. So this is, I'm going to put a shelf over here. And this is where... Most of the ingredients and food supply is going to go, and this is going to be in here. I put some dark oak fence around it. I think it goes well. Add some trim to go with that. I, I'm loving the look of this. I seriously am. I've got a cutting board here. I got Oh, I forgot to grab some apples. Oh, well. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I wanted... Hang on. I'm deciding. Actually, I should go right... No, I'm going to need a block that... Wait. Can't you do a torch there and it'll stop it? Yes, but I need a block there now. Crap. Aha. No. Got. Oh, look at there. Oh, I forgot I got a little. That's not, I didn't go in here though. Nope. Nope. Definitely nope. Give me my murder tools. I hate this new painting thing. Even though this doesn't really have anything to do with it. I don't like this whole system where you have to put blocks around it. I just don't like it. There it is. Jesus. Alright. Should I, should I even go there? Watch. I don't even want it there now. Yeah. No. Mm, I, I don't know. But I just now realized I do want that down in my torture chamber. Bob, are you down here? No. Uh, yeah, I never put it down here. Yeah, we dip. Oh, God. Oh, see? Now I have to... I don't like this. Like, this is why I don't like this new thing. You have to tear down stuff. Oh, I got a first try, though. There we go. No. What the heck? Give me the life back. What the heck? I thought that's how it worked. Do I have to make it come back alive first? Are you kidding me? Once it turns gray, it never goes back? What kind of lame crap is that? My game has sadly gotten increasingly laggier with this update, which kind of sucks. But oh well. What does that look like? What? Wait, what does that? <laughs> I don't even know why I'm using that. I'll just put it there for now. We might use it. Um, go ahead and make one of these. I like the new texture for the cake. That looks good. We definitely want this in here because we are definitely making that for the house. That is really tall. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't put that there, <laughs> even though it's already there. Actually... I wouldn't mind having like a corner shelf. Actually, it should go in the pantry. All finished food, like a finished food wall. Crap. See, I come up with these ideas, and then I don't know if I want to go through with them. Okay, got these shelves here like this. I want to line these all with cakes. Can I grow you up, please? Oh, thank God. Follow me. You know what? Now that I think of it, I do have a pig back here in that cage. I should probably keep a cow back there, because that would be so handy to... Just walk back there and get some milk every time. What if this actually looked good? I think it looked nice. Kind of like organized. Getting cakes ready for the house. Yes. Oh, I like that actually. <laughs> Just an idea. Because you think the food would, <laughs> would go bad if it sat there in the open air forever. I think that'll look alright. Yeah, I love the way this place is turning out. I really do. I love that. I decided to keep the glass. Just put some trap doors on the top. Makes it look like it's humidified in there or whatever you'd call it to keep. That's our refrigerator. Our old. You know what? I could put some ice. No. I'd be going too. No, it's not going too far, but you know what I mean. Um, got some gherkins here. Pickles. <laughs> and you got our apple. Just a few stuff here and there. I'm not really going to use these as storage because I won't really remember. Um, it's gonna kind of keep stuff in there, but yeah, I still want to do a lot of stuff in here. 
I'm going to get rid of this. This is where we're going to put the fireplace or the furnaces. We'll do more in here. We're just going to be messing all around all in this mansion when we're working in it. I want to be able to... Actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I, I keep coming up with even more ideas, but I got to take a break now. Got, I got to stop. There's just so many zombies all of a sudden. What the heck? They upstairs. So I just went to my last video and saw that it has already been six days since I've uploaded. I'm going to be honest with you. I had no idea. I thought it was at most four. But it's been six, and I in the last video I said I'm not going to... Uh, I need to stop saying stuff. I said I'm not going to let like three days pass me. I, I, it's just, what the heck? Life is going by too fast. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I have no excuse. It's just... Dang. <laughs> uh, today's comment question of the day comes from, we got two of them, CC Wilson. What was your favorite childhood show? Now, anytime someone asks me this, I have one answer, really. Um, why are those sideways? Did I put those sideways? I think I did. <laughs> and that is Courage the Cowardly Dog. That is my earliest favorite. I watched a lot of Blue's Clues. I remember that. Um, but, and... But my favorite childhood, probably in between the age of 10 and 16, Spongebob. Hands down, Spongebob. I've seen every episode, except for, like, the last two seasons. Didn't like how animated it got. Um, I like the hand-drawn. I know that was harder, but it was just funnier and better. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Courage is the Cowardly Dog. That is, like, one of my all-time favorites, I remember. So that one episode, that always freaks me out. Return the slab. However that went, <laughs> you know. Oh, that that still kind of gives me kind of like creepies. I don't know why. It just does. Next one's from Eric Schmidt. Is Minecraft your favorite game or do you play it because it's popular for content? Now, I definitely don't play it because it's popular for content. You know, like everyone's been doing recently. PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye and all that. Obviously, I've been playing this since 2014. Oh, I hate running around and talking. I feel like I should be doing something. Let's look for... Duke while we're doing this. Um, but is Minecraft my favorite game? Now, I don't do this, obviously, for because it's popular for content. Duke is definitely not in here. Um, I play it because you guys want to see it, and I like the game. That's literally the main reason, and it's my job right now. Maybe he's at the lab. We'll check that. Um, but do I play it because it's my favorite game? No. Like I just said, I have other reasons why I play it. My favorite games are mainly single-player games. Like, top two... Like I always mention, Witcher 3 and Fallout 4. Those are always going to be the best, hands down, single player games. Except for this new one coming out in 2020, Cyberpunk 2077. That is going to be one of the best games of all time. Oh, I can't wait for that. Uh, this new Call of Duty Modern Warfare looks amazing as well. I like It looks so good. I, I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. And considering they're going back to modern and like super realistic, rugged, oh, it looks so good. I have not been out here in a long time. Duke is definitely not out here. But yeah. Hello. Everything good? Good. I hear a kitty. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, that should be about it for today's episode. Hope I answered those questions nicely and goodly. Is he in the haunted hospital? Man, it's so spooky and haunted in here. Oh, yeah, I was operating on him, wasn't I? Nope. Nope. Well, crap. <laughs> I don't know where he is. I literally think he despawned. Literally, that's the only thing I can think of. There's no other reason why he should be gone like this. Unless I literally sat him down in some spot. Just completely forgot about him. Whatever. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.